Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing the Pinnacle Camper four-person cook set from GSIOutdoors.com. Here's their website right here. These guys make a ton of really great camping gear, camping equipment um, to make life easier if you're car camping or back, uh, backpacking as well. So definitely worth a look at. Make sure you check out GSIOutdoors.com. All right guys, so here it is right here, GSI Pinnacle Camper. So this is for four people. This bad boy is three pounds, 10 ounces. So, so when you're car camping, who cares how heavy it is? You just want convenient. So this is for a set of, uh, this is for a family of four. So I'm gonna get this thing out of the box and I'm gonna go over all the, the components in here and I'll show you why this thing is so awesome and why you should buy one for if, if you have a family of four. So here it is right here, the Pinnacle Camper from GSI Outdoors. This thing has a frying pan, two lids, four, uh, four sippet lids, four mugs, bowls, two liter pot, plates, three liter pot, a gripper, and a sink. Technically, this is the outside, it's a sink. It also doubles as a water bowl for the dog if you have your dog with you as well. All right, so let's get this thing out. There's a little nylon little strap here. That's what holds this thing together. We'll loosen that up. First things first. Teflon coated frying pan. So this is a 248 millimeter frying pan. Now on the back side of the frying pan right here, you can see all these little ridges that go around. That really helps out uh, disperse the heat evenly. And uh, now keep in mind when you're using, you know, camp cookware and you're using like a backpacking stove, for example, the backpacking stoves have a tendency to produce a tremendous amount of heat. So you definitely don't want to make you, you definitely want to make sure you don't overheat your cookware, especially this set. There's a little disclaimer on the inside of the owner's manual here. So it does have a uh, Teflon coated, so you don't necessarily need butter or, you know, oils or anything like that uh, to cook your food and keep it from sticking. So if you use any of those sprays like nonstick spray or anything like that, it could damage the, uh, um, the layer of Teflon that's on here. So keep that to a minimum or don't even use it at all. It's Teflon. It shouldn't stick at all. All right, let's see what's next here. So next up is the lid one of two lids that it comes with and it has this little pot grabber or lid grabber here rather and it folds flat to make sure uh, you know when you're storing it, it makes it easier so you can lift it off it has a sweat hole right here and it also has strainer holes on the side so if you're cooking pasta you can strain out all your uh, all the water out of your pasta now, there's a couple of stickers on the inside here so i'm going to peel those off but something to keep in mind the strainer holes okay steam will come out of those so you definitely want to make sure that that's not pointed towards the handle because then the handle will get hot so use some common sense don't point this uh, the venting holes the strainer holes towards the handle of the pot or the frying pan either which one so both lids have this really nice food grade silicone kind of flexible material here and that's going to really seal around the pan and the pot so sits on there nice and easy comes off nice and easy which is what you want now you also have a smaller one too you also have another one here now this is a, another lid for the smaller pot and i'll get that out here in a minute i just wanted to show you that it comes with two of these next up is your four cup slash bowls so you have four of these right you have Let's see if I can get these all together. So you have four of these, and these all sit just like that inside the bowl, okay? And there's one, you know, there's an orange, a blue, or a green, and a red. And so everybody, you know, a family of four is gonna have their own color. So that's kind of cool. You know, it's not like, that was my cup, and that was my bowl. No, you know, when you have kids, they fight over everything anyway. So this is cool because each one has their own color. But if you can see that on the inside here, all four of these are insulated, so it's gonna keep your food hot for a lot longer than normal. And they do have sippy lids, so you can use these as a little sippy cup. So you wanna use this for coffee in the morning, or you know, for hot cocoa, or tea, you know, either which one, it doesn't matter. It's gonna keep it insulated, it's gonna keep it hot. So that's awesome. Inside the, uh, the blue one here is the, this is the pot holder. Now this extends, locks in place, and that's your release. So the way that works is this kind of slides in place just like that. And that's how your pan locks in. Okay. Now to release that, this kind of just 
kind of pops off just like that. Now granted it's brand new so it's a little sticky, but these little guys slide in right there and locks in place. And that's the release. So you release it, that little guy pops off and you're good to go. This thing collapses too. So there's a little release on the inside here. Release that and there you go. What I'll do is I'll keep the little foam pouch that it came in just so I could store it in there and don't run the risk of scratching the Teflon. So here's your two liter pot, also Teflon coated. Also the ridges on the bottom side of the pot for better heat distribution. The handle slides right in, snaps in place, and now that's good to go. Your smaller pot lid fits on this one, just like that. It comes off nice and easy. As I said, food grade silicone throughout, so it's not gonna melt on you. Little handle on here, lift that. Handle pops right off, good to go. Let's see what's next. You get four plates, all color coded to the cups. So everybody has their own color coded cup to their plate. No fighting. That's great. They're not the biggest plates, but everything nests inside the big three liter pot, which I'm getting to right now. <clears throat> all right, now you got the big boy. Here's the big three liter pot. Same scenario. That bad boy snaps in place right there. Three liter pot. Same ridges on the bottom side here. Teflon coated on the inside. So if you're cooking stew or you're making some jambalaya or gumbo or you're cooking soup, um, you're cooking it for the whole family. So you're gonna need a big pot. This is also great for mashed potatoes or if you're cooking a bunch of veggies, this is great. There's multiple uses for a pot this size. So same thing, slide that open, handle comes out pretty easy. And last but not least, you have the, this is basically the kitchen sink. So you have everything, including the kitchen sink. And this thing kind of just strap goes right there. So you can bring water if you need to, it'll hold water. You could also fill this thing up and use it as a dog water bowl. So if you have your dog with you and you're car camping, now you have a place to keep your, uh, your dog water. So you can put that in there. It's also the sink. So you can put all your stuff in here and you can do your washing. It, GSI is awesome. You know, this kit is excellent for a family of four. So this thing kind of just nests in there just like that. And we'll get our plates, put our plates in there. Pop those plates in the bottom. I leave it in the plastic bag. This way, you know, you don't run the risk of scratching anything. So there's your two liter pot. Pop that, pop that in there. Got your four cups. And what I'll do is I'll put this in here, now I'll just pop this back in one of these cups. Just like that. Kind of pop that back in place just like this. We have the small lid. Small lid goes in just like that. Bigger lid goes in right on top of it. And last but not least, you have your frying pan which goes on top of that. This thing kind of hooks around, cinch that down, and voila, you're done. This is the absolute Mac Daddy for a family of four car camping for cooking pots and pans, plates, bowls. The only thing missing here is like forks and knives and spoons, but that's for a different video. Now, as I said, all the cookware is Teflon coated. Now they have a radiance technology that's built into that. What that means is that this cookware reaches temperatures 25% faster than other uh, cookware that's not treated with this Teflon with radiance technology. So the cookware that's designed here, not only is it you know non-stick, but it's also designed to generate heat quicker so it gener uh, so it'll cook your food faster. Not only that, but it's super tough and it's definitely gonna take a beating over time. So all the pots and pans are hard anodized aluminum with an even heating aluminum core. So it's definitely durable and there's a lot of technology built into the metal alone. So all the plates and the, the cups are what they call an infinity clear polypropylene and they're all 100% BPA free. So they definitely won't leach any chemicals. Not only that, they definitely don't absorb food odor and food taste. So you know, if you have like a bunch of pickles on one plate, uh, it's gonna absorb the juices and that kind of stuff and then your plate smells like pickles. It's not gonna happen with this stuff. This stuff is really, really nice. It's very well thought out and there's a lot of technology built in here. Now there is a little disclaimer on the box. Now it says that these are specifically designed for camp stoves, backpacking stoves, camp stoves, that kind of stuff, not for home use. 
So keep that in mind. Don't put this on your stove in the house. I'm also going to do a follow up review using this set, actually car camping with my family. So I'll show you in real time how well this system works. But right now, before I even use it, I'm totally excited and I can't wait to go camping. All right, guys, so that's my review of the Pinnacle Camper. This is from GSI Outdoors. Here's their website right here. These guys make really, really great camping equipment and gear and backpacking stuff. They've been doing it for a really long time. Definitely worth a look at. So GSIOutdoors.com. Check these guys out. I hope you enjoyed my video and found it informative. If you did, make sure you click that like button right down here. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. When you click on that, you're going to stay up to date on all the latest gear reviews that I'm working on here on my YouTube channel for Trail and Mountain. Another way to stay connected is to head on over to my web. Another way to stay connected is to head on over to my website, which is trailermountain.com, and the little lower right-hand corner, um, you're going to see a little pop-up. Put in your email address, click submit. This way, you stay up to date on everything that I'm working on on the website as well. So, if you want to be on the on the know for all things backpacking, mountain biking, car camping, camping, you know, gear related, I post the latest and greatest reviews several a week. So. Definitely want to make sure you stay tuned because I'm always posting something new. If you guys have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Leave them down in my description box down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. So thanks again for tuning into my latest video. I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me over the past couple years. If you liked my review and found it informative, you want to buy one of these for yourself, click on that link down in my description box below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel. Another way to help support is to click on that I button right up here. When you do that, you could donate any number of dollars and that's going to allow me to produce higher quality content to give back to you. So thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate you checking out my latest video. And last, in closing, we're doing a John Muir Trail through hike in 2017, August 2017. And we're going to do from Happy Isles to Whitney Portal. So we're going to start in Yosemite. We're going to end at Mount Whitney, which is the tallest peak in the lower 48 states. We're doing this in 14 days, so it's about 16 mile days and we're raising money for charity along the way. So the charity we chose is Big City Mountaineers, and what they do is they take underprivileged youth, kids from troubled homes, kids from broken homes, and they take them out into the wilderness, and they spend a week out there, and they teach them you know, positive, life-changing skills, wilderness skills, and really steer them you know, in the right path. Give them a positive role model to look up to, because some of these kids don't have a mom and dad. Big City Mountaineers makes a huge impact in this world, and they do a lot of good. So. That's the reason why we chose to use Big City Mountaineers as our charity, and we're raising money for them. 100% of the proceeds go to Big City Mountaineers, and we're raising $10,000. So that was the goal that I set. We have until August of next year, and some of the money has already started coming in. So, so if you could, please make a donation. I'll have a link down in the description box below. Every donation is tax deductible, and every little bit gets us closer to our goal. So thanking you in advance. Thanks again for tuning into my channel. You know, without you guys, I can't live my dream and my passion of, you know, showing all this great outdoor gear for you guys, for the outdoor enthusiasts. You know, I'm one myself, and whenever I get some new gear, I'm, I'm like a little kid in Toys R Us. I love this stuff. And I love showing you these videos. Thanks again. I really appreciate all the help and support, and I have a ton of gratitude for each and every one of you. Take care, guys. Make sure you get outdoors.